Hello everyone, this is the very first video of uh, Olga tutorial. Hopefully in this series of Olga tutorial that I would uh, upload on my YouTube channel, I will go through uh, different scenarios and different um, kind of simulations you can do with Olga. Olga is actually a software that is being used for uh, multi-phase flow transport simulations. Uh, I would say more specifically in oil and gas industry. And uh, let's start with Olga and how it looks like. Uh, if you press on file you will see different categories that uh, I call it like samples or examples that uh, Schlumberger itself has provided for you for for your information. You have categories like basic, compositional, drilling, FA models or near well and pigging stuff and uh, things like that. But in this first uh, example, in this first uh, tutorial, I would start with the basic case. And uh, hopefully I will manage to do some changes in this basic case and do some parametric study for make it a little bit more difficult than just a simple case. Uh, I would start with the basic case, but I need to open or save uh, my file cases on a different locations. I will choose desktop and the, f the, the, the folders that I have already created which is called Olga tutorial I press OK and then I will call it basic 2 and then just create so if you look at this very simple case uh, you would see that you have a closed node at the inlet and the mass source just right after the closed node and then a pipeline and then the outlet which is seemingly a pressure outlet with a constant pressure at the end. Uh, if you look at the pipeline, it's uh, if you double click on the pipeline it opens up this flow path geometry data which you can figure out uh, what kind of geometries that is already created in this basic file and uh, if you click on each of these uh, nodes or components, you would see all the properties in the model browsers. So starting from the top, you have a library, which is a structural part. The structural part is actually the materials and the vol uh, for the pipelines that you have already created. You have two materials already specified or defined in this uh, specific uh, basic case. The first one is called material 1 and the second one is called material 2. So if you want to be more specific, let's rename this material 1 to steel. And then the second material to insulation since it has a, a lower conductivity, much lower than the first one. I would call it insula insula insulation. And then you have defined two walls with different thickness and with different materials, for example, uh, I would I would change this for example to pipeline I rename it to pipeline and then uh, the thickness only one material actually two material one with the steel and the other one with the insulation so first I deselect every single materials that already is selected then I would select the first layer as a steel and then second layer as insulation and here it is. So the first one, the first material for this pipeline is a steel with a thickness of 0 0.009 meter. And the second one is insulation on top of the steel with a thickness of 0 0.002 meter. And then the second one, I would, I would define another wall for my riser part. I would call it riser. And then uh, I think I would be fine just with the steel without insulation and I would I would put the thickness as 0 0.0057 meter so the material and the wall is already defined here in this structural part and then you come to case definitions and here is the case that you have uh, given a title basic and the files for example the PBT file for the fluid file <coughs> it's already defined as a three phase file tab but if you want to change it for example you can click on this one and then remove this and then browse your own tab file <clears throat> which is already created either by multi-flash or other softwares like pvtc so i choose this one and then my file is already is added 
Then you have like integration time. This is a simulation time, for example, how much you want to run your simulations, what is your maximum delta T, and what is your minimum delta T. These, these things are more like uh, simulations related stuff. For example, if you just want to run the simulations for no time, if you put it to zero, it means that the solver will give you the results from the steady state solver. So I'll put this to zero. I wouldn't like to iterate much, just zero, and it gives me the, the solution from the <clears throat> steady state solver. And then you have options. You have different options here. But for this specific case, since I have changed my material, I, I, actually my flow part, uh, I would like to change this flash model, which is given like water. My model, my, my, my fluid uh, does not contain any water, so I exclude the water and I just make the flash model to hydrocarbon. So these things you need to go through, the, uh, the, actually they help in the Olga and uh, read it carefully to understand what exactly they mean. <clears throat> and then when it comes to flow components, here you have one source uh, already defined. And uh, if you look at the default values, the source seems to have different uh, mass flow at different time. So starting from 2, uh, actually starting from 18 at time 0 and uh, continues to uh, 18 at uh, for 10 minutes and then changing to 9, actually decreasing to 9 in ten, another 10 minutes and then again increasing to 18. But for, the sake of, but for the sake of simplicity, I will just change it to a constant value of five kilogram per second and then the temperature would be only 62 so since you don't have any water again I would change uh, the total water fraction to zero so minus one which is a default value means uh, the total water fraction the flashing would be taken from the tab file that you have already created but if you just put it to zero this will enforce the software to put the water fraction in your uh, in your flashing to zero then you have also heat transfer the heat transfer you have different kind of heat transfer but here in this simple case I would go through this H ambient which is given like 6.5 and then the option is just H given so you have different options and then you can again go through the, through the Olga online help or the Olga help or other tutorials available and uh, read through this and understand what other options are. <clears throat> but if I want to make a little difference on the pipeline, so let's make some difference, uh, actually some alteration in the pipeline. And uh, I would like to start my pipeline from minus 250 down, uh, down the C under the C actually so I put the start point to minus 250 and then I remove all this length and elevation you have two options actually for defining your pipeline either you give length and elevation or you give the X and Y and Z I would uh, since I've started from minus 25 I would like to continue the same procedure actually using the X and Y and Z and uh, for that uh, I would use the same minus 25, but this time the X I would choose like, uh, let's say 150, well, 1,500 meter. So you see you have a horizontal line of uh, actually 1,500 meters with a constant uh, uh, um, Y of minus 250. And the number of sections I would, I would uh, put it to 40. This number of section is, uh, if you know, for example, CFD is like your cells, your volumes, that uh, on each iteration, the, the temperature or the pressure or the momentums are being calculated. I keep the diameter the same, the roughness the same, but the wall would be the wall that I created for pipeline. So this, this would be my first pipeline. Then I would like to define the second pipe. I would call it pipe 2. And then this pipe two would be my would be my riser. I would not change the x. The x would be the same, but this time I would change the y to, for example, 30, 30 meter above the sea level. 
and the number of sections I would put to 10 and then perhaps the same diameter the same roughness uh, 5e minus 5 the same roughness for the same roughness for the riser and then the pipeline would be riser this time and then I would define this third pipeline which is a horizontal pipe I would put it like 155 and then Y would be the same and I put it like 5 would be enough I guess and then 12.2 the same diameter same roughness for the wall and the wall would be riser again so here you see how the pipeline is defined and uh, I can make it a little bit like minus 65 I would make it a little bit sloppy and then you can simply close it and uh, yeah for the mass since uh, you have changed your fluid file actually so uh, this this button is the verification button if there is a problem in your pipeline that you cannot that uh, 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 actually stops you from running your simulations uh, once you press this verification button and you see this red red one on uh, on the bottom of your page which which is saying is not runnable you can see the the problems actually in the output file so you have actually two problems uh, the problems are one from in the branch the reference given fluid is wrong if you press on this arrow key it, it takes you to the problem since I have changed my fluid and it's not the default fluid uh, anymore I have to change my fluid from fluid 1 to 1 and then seems like the same problem in the outlet and the fluid should be changed from fluid 1 to 1 as well now you see the simulation is ready to run the press uh, either you can press F4 or just press on this button to run your simulations and here it is the simulation is run and uh, in the predefined uh, trend data and the profile data you would you can see all the informations like hold up pressure temperature QLT um, actually the volumetric flow rate of the liquid the volumetric flow rate of a gas the ID of your ID is a um, is actually the the flow patterns ID one two three four and five each each and single ID means the different flow patterns like bubbly flow sluggy flow and things like that and in the trend data for example in pipe one section one what is defined here is like hold up again the hold up of water which which does not exist the ID again the pressure and the Q2 which is uh, actually the heat transfer rate TM and the same perhaps for T2 but for different locations uh, this one is a general value value variable it's the oil content water content oil content fraction and water C fraction uh, but you can simply uh, plot one of the trend plot let's uh, let's plot the trend for example uh, if you search for Q, uh, PT you see that the pressure uh, is defined at pipe 1 for the for the pipeline at section 1 at the very first section after the mass source so you see that the pressure that you need for uh, running this simulation actually from uh, from this the mass source up to the up, up to the outlet with the constant pressure of 50 bar is actually something between 65 and 65.5 and uh, to be more specific it's 65.2242 uh, Pascal so this means that for having the mass flow rate of uh, 5 kilogram per second you require um, a pressure of 65.2 in the out in the inlet in the in the beginning of the in the beginning of your pipeline but uh, let's do a parametric study and uh, 
see how the, how the pipeline size affect uh, this pressure inlet. So if I click on this and then uh, press or uh, click on the parametric studies and then I click on add, a study one is created and then the decoration uh, to see N and then right click to select parameters select parameters and then from the top i would go through pipeline flow path pipeline and then since i'm going to study the the, the pipeline i click on this and then right click again actually not this one but uh, pipe one and then diameter this pipe one in the pipeline was actually this horizontal or nearly horizontal pipe that you have uh, in the beginning of your simulations uh, actually in your model this uh, slopey little slopey pipeline under the sea so the diameter is 0 0.20 uh, actually 0.12 meter as a default value value that you created yourself so if you click on this i would go for 12 and then let's say 15 and then if you right click and uh, if you right click on this and insert it another another case and let's make it like 0.2 meter and then you have three cases case one case two case three with different uh, diameter of the, the pipeline the horizontal pipeline and then it is ready to run the batch I click on run batch and the simulations are done press any key to continue and then I just plot the trend and then the PT for pipeline pipe one section one I press press click selected all these three four different cases you can see that it's skip for case one case two and case three and just press ok so here is the results so for example for case one which is blue for case two red and the uh, actually case one is black case two is red and the case three is blue so when you increase the when you increase the pipeline diameter you can easily see that uh, you require a higher pressure in the inlet to achieve the certain mass flow of five kilogram per second with the constant pressure of 50 bar at the outlet this is logical this is physical if you increase the pipeline and if your mass flow rate is constant then you require a higher inlet pressure to achieve that certain mass flow rate so this is actually my first tutorial uh, i hope you have enjoyed this tutorial uh, in the next um, uh, videos uh, of this series i would go through other stuff other simulations hopefully i would uh, run some um, um, transient simulations some scenarios like ramp up or turn down and uh, we would go back to this uh, with more details uh, thank you for now